crafty friends, it's me, Leslie Oman, and thank you for joining me for another Hungry Hair Feet Crafts video. Today, I'm going a little bit meta. Today's card is a card, which is all about sending a card. Yes, I know, it's a little bit crazy, but sometimes my brain just works like that. This card features the Love Letters stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I don't actually have this stamp set, but a sweet friend of mine, thanks to Nisa, let me stamp uh, out some of the images when we were last together in January. And I've also got this rectangle, the scallop rectangle, which is part of their Love Heart envelope die. And I thought it'd be fun to add two of these together and pretend that it's one panel. So I'm just lining up the scallops on top and bottom and adding a little bit of tape along the back. And it does mean there's a seam in the middle, but that's okay because I'm challenging myself today. I like to give myself little challenges and I'm going to hide that. So at the end, you won't even know it's there. But first of all, let's ink it up. I'm using my Squeeze Lemonade Distress Inks and my mini blending tool here to add a little bit of yellow color to both of these panels. And then I'll come in with some wild honey to add some orange along the edges. This color scheme was inspired by Nicole Spore. Yellow and orange is something I don't really use an awful lot, but I wanted to see what it would turn out like because I was inspired by some of her cards. To add a little bit of texture, I'm using this Hero Arts Friends Defined background stamp. And I'll set that to the side to dry while I color in on my little images. Normally I use yellows and oranges for my chickies, but because my background is yellow, I wanted to pick a different color that would really pop against it. So I'm using these blue green colors to have little teal chickies, chicky boos. And then for the envelope, I'm using pink tones. So the idea is that all three envelopes are actually the same envelope, just at different stages of transit. <laughs> I'll add a yellow, um, marker to the heart and a little grey around the outside of the paper and the speech bubble. I decided that this panel here was actually a little bit too fat so I'm going to move it along to make it a little bit skinnier because I want to put both of these panels side by side on an A2 card so that it almost looks like a storyboard effect. So let's stick these down and to add some colour to the background I've picked out this Sort of a, it's more blue actually, it's rather than teal. I guess it's like a duck egg blue color of stripy paper from Echo Park. It's from the um, Dots and Stripes collection, one of theirs. I think it's called like Homeland, something like that. Homefront, yes, Homefront. So let's stick these down in the middle. And for a little bit of extra pizzazz, I'm going to use this new dye, well, new, new to me. It's called Fine Trimmings from Mama Elephant and it punches these really cool holes all, all the way along. I guess it's a little bit like a perforation, but I just want a little bit of interest. So I'm adding these above and below my inked up panels and I've trimmed off the edges. Um, I wanted to put some coordinating paper behind those punched holes, but I didn't quite have the right color. so these bits that I've cut off the edge I am inking up using peacock feathers distress inks and then I'll just stick that down with some sticky tape and cover the whole back of this panel with foam tape. Here's the bit now where I have to get creative and add all my little elements with some glue dots. I haven't actually stuck down the open envelope and the speech bubble just yet because I'm going to be adding a little greeting to each of them but let's put this chicky down here and put the envelope in her, I was gonna say paw, in her wing, in her hand. Let's just say what hand. So for the actual stamping of the greeting, I'm going to be using this stamp set. It's called Monster Mash. And there's a greeting in there that says, sending you monster hugs. <laughs> and I had previously done a little bit of stamp surgery on it, cutting it apart. But I won't need to cut any more, I'll just use my post-it tape to mask off the areas that I don't need. And I'll start with the word you 
and then come in and put sending just above it and then just use the word hugs for down below. Also in this stamp set is a stamp that says birthday and I'm once again using my masking paper or post-it note paper to mask off letters I don't need and I'm going to create the word yay and add a little exclamation point on there too. To bring some of the pink into this image I'm using my spun sugar distress ink to add a little heart on the top. So let's stick these guys down and to finish off the card I'm going to add a sprinkling of sequins and this is from the Honeybee Stamps Baby Girl Sequin Mix. Of course I'll come in with my black glaze pen and darken up the eyes of my little critters and I added some glossy accents to the beaks, the heart and the little inkwell too. So there we go, the card is finished. Here's a closer look at some of the images and I hope you have enjoyed this fun project. I think it was really fun to do and thank you for Nicole Spore for inspiring this colour scheme. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's some more videos that you may like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my other videos as soon as they're released. You can also leave me a like and a comment down here and don't forget to follow me on social media at Hungry Heavy. I'll see you there. Have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.